Welcome back to this war of mine. It is the start of day 24. Pavel's just come back and he's gotten some pretty good stuff. Especially the two canned food, which is really, really good. And even though we weren't raided in the night, somehow Katya and Amelia have both gotten worse. So I think Katya needs medicine and Amelia needs a bandage. Okay. Well, first thing to do is let's get some water going. As always, we need more water. Okay, who needs to sleep? Bruno? Uh, I guess you're gonna have to cook, actually. Okay, you are sick. We don't have any med- we do have herbal medicine. I guess you could take that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you go do the water? Amelia, you need to go s uh, oh wait. Oh shit, we don't have any bandages, do we? We don't. Alright, just go sleep for now. Uh, you are tired too. Yeah, go to sleep. Okay, let's see if we can cook up our food. Oh yeah, we definitely can. Yeah, so let's make two. Fuel. Okay, you're on meds. Unfortunately, they're herbal medicine, so unfortunately they're not going to work at all. Yay! Also, it's cold. So let's fix that. Yeah, that just used up one of my fuels, though. So we need to make another one. I feel ill. I have to rest a bit. Now, hold on, hold on. Um, why don't you eat first? All right. Yeah, I have enough vegetables for a very long time. It's raw food and water that are my limits. I could make another rain catch, but I don't think I need to. I just need to make sure I always get water going. Okay, so we have... Two food. We have one canned food and one cooked food. Is anyone very hungry? No, you just ate. You're good. You're hungry. You're not. You're hungry. Okay, so we're gonna have enough food to get everybody fully satiated. Sweet. Okay, uh, what else do I need to do? I need to do stuff. Like, I'd like to board up, but unfortunately I don't have enough wood. I just used up a little bit too much. Mm. I could improve the furnace. That would be good. Although I don't think I have the stuff to do that. I think I need one more electric component. Yeah. Yeah, I need one more electric component to make the thermoregulator. Yep. So, that's not gonna work. Alright. Being able to make my own medicine would be nice. What does it take to make bandages again? I don't remember. Wait a minute, can we upgrade the stove? You can't upgrade the stove, can you? No? No, I don't think you can. I thought, for some reason I thought you could. Or maybe I already upgraded it, I don't remember. Hmm. That doesn't seem like you can though, because there's no upgrade thing. Anyway, herbal garden, alright. Well, I already got, already got that going. Herbal workshop. Can prepare herbal meds, bandages, and low-quality roll-up cigarettes. But what would it take to make bandages? What raw ingredients would I need? I don't know. It could be worth it. Maybe. I can just go to the hospital for bandages, though. Or for treatment. Could make a moonshine still. And this would take sugar and water, I'm sure. I'm sure it would take water. You know, did we ever upgrade our workshop? Our metal workshop? I don't think we did. No. Okay, 
Okay, so we can fix all broken firearms, as well as vests and helmets. And refill empty shell casings to reuse them. Do I actually have any shell casings I can make? I've got the powder. I don't I don't think I have any. No, I don't have any shell casings. That doesn't seem worth a lot. I don't think I actually care to do that. I mean, I can already repair helmets and pistols and shotguns. That's really all I need. Making more ammo doesn't really make any sense right now because I, I can't actually make ammo because I don't have the shell casings. So that doesn't make any damn sense. So what do I actually want? What's the most important? I think it's boarding up everything. And probably heat. Unfortunately, I can't do either at the moment. Our people are a bit sick, so I think an herbal workshop might be good, but at the same time, it might be better just to go to the hospital. Let's see, is Amelia recovering? She is recovering, even though she's wounded. But we gotta be really careful with her, because she's not bandaged. In fact, Bruno himself is slightly wounded. Oh, is Pavel good? Okay, Pavel's good. So, Pavel, you can go eat. Bruno, you can take his place and go to sleep. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to save my stuff. I don't think I'm going to build anything. Because I think the next thing I want to do is board up stuff and improve the furnace. You know, in the meantime... I actually think I'm going to heat it up a little bit more because 14 degrees is a little bit cold. Let's see, 14 degrees, come on. 15, nice, 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 nice. 16? <gasps> 17? 18? Can we get 18? Do we have an 18? Do we have an 18? We do not have an 18. That's fine, 17 is okay. I think that's like... What is that in Fahrenheit? I think that's like... 60, it's like low 60s, I think. Much colder, yeah. It's getting colder. More atrocities committed by the military. This morning, a mortar shell exploded in the crowded Pagoran marketplace, killing and wounding many people. People are getting more desperate. Okay, so somebody still needs to eat. It's Amelia. I don't really want to get her up, though. Oh, you can go have a seat, Pavel. She should go eat, though. She really should. Oh, shit, we need to get more water going. Pavel, get on it! You sat for, like, five minutes. Get back to work. Okay, Amelia, why don't you go eat? Run! I know that's not good for your wound, but I'm sorry. I want to make sure you eat before it potentially gets stolen. Alright, how are we doing on water? We got six. That's going to give us four more. Okay, pretty good. I wish you could call an ambulance. Katya doesn't look well. Um, uh, she'll be okay. She's on meds and she's recovering. She'll be okay. Okay, so everybody's fully fed. That has not happened for a very long time. Okay, Amelia needs to... S well, actually, hold on. No. No, she doesn't need to sleep. I was going to have her sleep because she is wounded. But I'm just going to take her to the hospital. Yeah, so then she can get treated there. Perfect. So Pavel's going to guard. 
Uh, Katya is sick and not slightly sick, so I'm gonna have her sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna have her sleep. Bruno's only slightly wounded, so I'll have him guard. Yeah. The person that most needs to sleep is going to sleep. We have two guards, and Amelia is gonna go get some help at the hospital. Okay, now it seems like there's a little bit more stuff to get. If I brought a, um... A crowbar. So I'm gonna bring a crowbar. And aside from that, we should be good. I'm hoping they don't expect something in trade for the treatment. I really hope they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't. Okay, they have two guns back there. So, they should be okay. Oh god, she's hobbling around. We'll get you fixed up, don't worry. Can she even run? Oh, she can't run, but I don't want her to run. Oh, stop running. Hello, balaclavad man. Okay, treatment is up above, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's trade. Don't want that. See, I'm hoping getting into these places is not stealing, because it doesn't indicate that it's stealing. Okay, I actually don't want to take too long, so I'm sorry. Run. You're not the doctor. Bunch of random stuff. Oh, here we go. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Please help me. Oh, thank you. Some of the personnel died, but some just left. I don't blame them. Oh. Okay. Free bandages. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's much appreciated. Okay. Hello, can you treat me further? Double bandaged? Nope. So yeah, I have a decent haul here of just random stuff, but I do want to force my way into some things. What do I need the least? <laughs> it's been forever since we've had coffee or cigarettes. I feel bad for Bruno and Katya. Uh, sugar's not very important. Parts aren't very important. Neither is tobacco, honestly. Alright, let's force our way into some things, and let's hope it's not stealing. Because it doesn't indicate that it's stealing, so it better not freaking be stealing. Ah, that's right, there's no doorway there. Oh wait, no, isn't there a doorway here? Yeah, there is. See, I mean, look. I can force my way into here, but it's next to things that are stealing, so I'm... Is it stealing? It feels like it would be, but it doesn't indicate that it is. Let me see if I can find somewhere I can force my way into where there's not people around. There's people around everywhere. Are you a guard? You are a guard. I really think it might be stealing.
I'm really worried about forcing my way, my way into those things. Okay, I really need wood. I need wood more than components. I also need wood more than parts. I really don't need more vegetables. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. The vegetables are more important than fertilizer. Because I can turn the vegetables into fertilizer. Yes. He's right there, and he's going to hear it when I start forcing my way into there. Okay, should I try it on this one? I mean, this guy's at least, like, a traitor. He's not... a dude with a gun or a balaclava, so... Okay. So, okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm running. Oh, he got a gun out. That was your last mistake. Okay, I'm never going back there again. So that is stealing. Good to know. I suspected that was true. It didn't indicate it was stealing, but it was next to stuff that was stealing. But also next to stuff that wasn't stealing. I don't know, that was weird. Whatever, we're good. Oh sweet, she's not even wounded anymore. She recovered on her way back. So if I bring Amelia back there, are they gonna shoot her on sight? But they wouldn't shoot the other people on sight, right? Because they don't know them. Like, they can't possibly know that Amelia is related to the other people. So I just need to keep that in mind. Never bring Amelia back there, but it should be okay to bring the other people back. Alright. Food! We have food. Actually, why don't you go to sleep? Bruno, slightly wounded, hungry, sad, tired, why don't you go to sleep? Pavel, hungry, tired. Go click food. Actually, Bruno, you're gonna cook. Ooh, water. Always get more water going. Because as soon as you need it, you're going to find that it takes four or five hours to make. It's cold. Okay, we can actually upgrade the furnace. And in fact, there's still a wood in the furnace, so it seems like the fuel will last a long time. So let's get the water going, and then let's upgrade the furnace. Actually, let's seed the traffic. Oh, we got wow, we got a shit ton of food. We have a shit ton of food. This is really, really good. I have a bounty of food and plenty of vegetables to cook with it. Okay, do I have any fertilizer? No, so I'm going to turn my vegetables into fertilizer. We need food. No, we don't. We really don't need food. Ooh, traitor's here. Gonna have to wake Katya up. Wake Katya up. Hopefully this time I can actually get a decent price. Wakey, wakey, got ya. She's so sad, but we're actually eating well. Why are you so sad? Is it because you don't have coffee? Is it because it's cold as hell? I can fix that. Let's fix that right now. Yes, Bruno, that was truly the best way to get there. Good job. Oh, right, I need to... Oh, wait, no, I... Fuck, I need another electric bar to make the thermal regulator. That's right, I can't do that. Uh, let's go patch up another hole. Shit, I forgot to look for that part. I should have... How many more holes are there? There are three or four, and I already have two. Actually, we can just visually look. So that one's boarded up, that one's boarded up. What's, what's not boarded up, actually? 
I don't see the hole. Where's the hole? Where are you gonna do it? Oh. Oh yeah, I suppose that's probably another hole, right? Maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, we still have our alcohol to dread. Alright. Now, let's see. How much is the alcohol worth to you? Interesting one exchange. Okay, so it's still not worth that much. The value's gone down or something. And how much is this worth? It would cost you. So I can't even get one f one canned food for one alcohol, huh? I can't. Jesus. Alright. I don't think there's much point in holding out with my alcohol anymore. I mean, I mean it just seems like... The exchange rate for this stuff is just fucked. Might as well get something, I guess. Unless I really have time to hoard the alcohol for when it's maybe worth more? Maybe. There's something really wrong with the exchange rate, though. I mean, look at it. This doesn't... What the fuck is wrong with this? I can't even trade pure alcohol for moonshine. Even though the pure alcohol specifically says it's more valuable than simple moonshine, and yet he won't even give me moonshine for pure alcohol. What in the fuck? Okay, do you have an electric part? You don't. Damn it. I could use a couple rounds. They're pretty cheap. Aside from that, I still need more wood. Okay, so what am I going to trade? Am I just going to trade the alcohol and say, forget it? My medication is worth a lot. Some of the bandages. <clears throat> I don't really need food. Ooh, coffee. Bruno would like that. And it says you can have it almost for nothing. Okay, yeah, I'll get some coffee for Bruno. Maybe it'll cheer him up. Or, actually, no. Bruno likes to smoke. This is for Katya. Yeah. Alright, I'll trade my damn alcohol. Jesus Christ. The terrible exchange rate. What else am I willing to trade? The gunpowder is pointless. Honestly, rounds are so cheap to buy, I don't feel like making my own is that important. But then again, it's not even worth that much. It says very common stuff, not very interesting. Whoops. I definitely want to keep that. Those gun parts are not too common. Hmm. I think this is worth it. It's not a very good exchange rate, but... The alcohol is not actually useful to me right now, and this stuff is. Okay. No, I think that's it. You can stand there all day if you want, though. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that's why he's giving me a bad exchange rate? It's because I, I keep making him stand outside the front door all day, and he's like, fuck these people. But, I mean, if I decide I want something else, you know, it makes sense to just leave him there. Alright, so everything is just as shitty as it was before. Yay. Why don't you go sleep? 
Katya, why don't you go sleep too? Oh, we need to make more water. Hold on, do we need to make food? Bruno, I think we need to make food. Uh, Katya, why don't you hang out up here? You're actually going to eat. Amelia, you're not super hungry, are you? No, you're good. Okay, now you can go sleep. Okay, I think we can safely say that you can leave. So, <laughs> I'll uh, let this poor man off the hook and let him get home before it gets dark. Good luck to you as well. Not a good day. What are you talking about? Why is everybody so sad? It's, it actually has been a pretty good day. For once, we have plenty of food and... Well, it is actually kind of cold. In fact... Yeah, we need to really... That's that's my prime concern, actually, is upgrading this furnace. There's no point even making this. It's going to be nighttime before I can do anything, but... Yeah, I didn't get enough fuel in there. Whoopsie. Okay, so everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, they're kind of hungry, but that's just because I didn't make enough food. We actually have food, it's just I didn't actually make it. You know, I actually need to get some more vegetables going. Because it's starting to get to the point where we have about as much vegetables as we have raw food. Or, um, yeah, raw food. So I need to get that going. Because that's a long-term thing, so I need to think about it long-term. Who's gonna sleep? Bruno, I think you should sleep. Hmm. Yeah, Bruno will sleep. I'll have both of them guard. Pal can scavenge. All right, where the hell are we going? There's not enough stuff left at the hospital now to be to make it worth it to go back. Not to mention, I am worried about getting shot, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't identify Pavel as being related to Amelia in any way, because there's no way they know that. So I'm not too worried about that. But there's just not enough stuff left there. So the thing I need the most is the electric part, so I can upgrade the furnace, and I need wood. So wood and electric part, where am I going to find that? There's like nothing left of the hotel. This is a place to go to steal. This is another place to go to steal. That's way too dangerous. That place is really picked clean. In other words, there's not many places I can go. I think it might have to be the brothel. It says they have plenty of goods and are eager to trade. They're thugs, but plenty of goods and eager to trade. I don't have anything to trade, but, you know, typically if you go somewhere where you can trade, there's also just random piles of stuff you can loot, so... That seems likely. I guess we're going to the brothel. Now, what do we want to take? I don't know what's going to be there. Seems like a crowbar is normally a good idea. And a saw blade can get you into some really nice places. But chances are, whatever place it could get me into is somewhere where I'd be stealing from the thugs. 
which seems awfully dangerous. So do I want to take the saw blade? Nah. I'll take the crowbar, but not the saw blade. Okay. Never been here before, I'm a little bit nervous. Apparently there's thugs, but they're willing to trade. It's my first time in this kind of place. Okay, yeah, so there's just general stuff to get. Good. Good, good, good. Anyone in there? Nope. Ah, it's barred. <laughs> what do you know? I could sure use a saw blade right about now. It's trash, mostly. Among it lies a fashionable handbag, torn as if someone had ripped it open, not sparing any thought to a damaged zipper. A tiny framed photo of a young man and a pocket notebook. Whoever tossed these here wasn't their owner. So, I'm guessing the thugs probably just stole it from somebody. In other words, don't trust the people here. Hmm. Lots of weapon stuff. I really freaking wish I brought the saw now. But there's some good stuff there. Alright, so I need to file that away in my brain space. Must come back later with a saw blade. Okay, finding stuff, but not the stuff I need. Damn, so many weapon things. So far, I haven't actually seen anybody. This looks like the actual brothel. Okay, there's somebody there. Yeah, so that's the actual brothel, and this is just like the side place, sort of. I'd really like to avoid even talking to the people inside if I can. But I don't think I'm going to find enough stuff out here. It's been sli yeah, more weapon stuff. My god. This is not what I need. I need electric parts and wood. Oh god. Perfect. There's my electric part. I just I don't know if I have enough wood left now though. What what are you doing? Okay. Oh, I guess you can't go back up the way you drop down. Gotcha. Can you jump up there? I think you can. I think you can. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So there's people down there, but I don't see anybody up here. Ooh, nice. Let's not run up here. I don't want them to hear me. There's another saw place. More weapon crap. Oh, somebody's down there. Damn it! This is not the stuff I need! Oh my god. Let's open the door to nowhere. Crap, I can't go this way either. Shit. I really need wood. Really could use some wood. Okay, somebody was down here. 
Are they still here? Okay, it looks like they want to trade. Okay, so they're probably not going to shoot me. Cool. Hi. Wow. You are a suspicious person, but you have some really good stuff. You don't even sell wood. Balls. I don't actually want any of this stuff, really. So, I'm guessing you wouldn't be too happy with me if I went further in. I know I'm not going to try to open this. That's a bad idea. You were supposed to leave. Okay, okay. Alright, yep. Yep, that's what I thought. So if I want to come back here, I need to bring a saw blade. Gotcha. It's not a single additional thing to take, is there? No, that is... I mean, this is a lot of stuff that I don't normally get, but this just isn't, for the most part, it just isn't what I need. In my inventory, even though I've stacked some things pretty high, it's just sadly lacking. Okay, well, not too bad. We should be able to upgrade the furnace. If we don't need too much wood for it. We were raided even with all the holes patched up? Well, I guess there's still more patching to do. We should be okay, though. It was a band of hardened robbers, but we managed to fend them off. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything, and we used up four ammo. Okay, that's a lot of ammo, but... We did just trade for some ammo. I think we had seven. Seven ammo before, so that would leave us with three, plus we just found two, so that should leave us with five. If I'm not mistaken... Yes. Okay. Cool. Alright, not too bad. But I definitely want to seal up even more holes... soon. I can't do it now, because I don't have enough wood. Anyway, things are going pretty well. Yeah, everybody's not doing too bad. We have plenty of food, just need to actually cook it up. And, oh, look, there's Kate having some coffee. Bet she feels pretty good about that. And it is extremely cold, I need to fix that. Alright, well, I think I'll end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.